We have a very long trip today, about 10 hours from Lancaster, Pennsylvania to Southern Ohio. This is a pretty early start for us, 7.30, but it's great to be able to get out this, this early. So come along with us on a long travel day. out of Lancaster this morning and we find that oftentimes when we're around even small cities we're spending a lot of time looking at the map saying how can we get around this city how can we not go through the city but we were just saying that even though we're actually going through downtown Lancaster right now we've realized that it's easier because this is where all the trucks go cities are made for trucks and when we try to go around through little towns and countryside we often get jammed up by low overhangs by tight turns and it's sort of the same idea as going over the George Washington Bridge in New York people say why would you ever drive an RV through New York City well because the entire crunch country's truck fleet <laughs> goes through there that's what it's made for it's made to be a multi-lane highway where large vehicles can go so that was kind of a little shift we had this morning of maybe we shouldn't avoid the cities maybe we should see them as a as a, a good safe route yeah at least when RV life the app we use tells us to go that way trim piece, like a rubberized trim piece, I think, that covers those rivet or screw holes. Something flapping in the wind off of our front nose. Some type of caulking piece or something? Yeah. You can see those little rivet or screw holes that it, I think is primarily what it's there to cover. So we'll pull over and <laughs> figure it out. Maybe pull it off so it can be put back on properly later. Yeah. Looks more cosmetic than structural, but it does yeah. cover those holes. This popped out. Not ripped, it just popped out of the track somewhere. And then the wind caught it. Travel days, my top priority. How coiffed I am. Where are we now? Ohio. A little flatter here in the Midwest. again while we were driving we just stuck it in the <laughs> stuck it in the propane door to keep it out of the way I guess we'll just have to silicone or caulk it or something to hold it in place it just sealed a little bit it doesn't seem broken it just came out of the track oh, here we are in Ohio 
So we have a new strategy for this Circuit 3 that we're on. We've uh, sometimes debated whether it's better to drive a long haul travel day or drive a few hours and stop over a quick overnight and then keep going. So what we've decided is that even if you stop for a quick overnight, even if it's in a parking lot or rest stop or something, it's going to be an hour to set up and an hour to tear down the next day. And sometimes you might even have to go off of your route quite a ways to get to a place like that. So we figured if we could have driven an extra three more hours to reach our destination, then it's not worth staying overnight. Yeah, so it's gonna be yeah. really long. Yeah, so we decided that 10 hours is gonna be our threshold. We made it here in nine hours today. We thought it was gonna be 10. So if it's over 10 hours, we will try to do a quick overnight boondockers welcome maybe or something, but we're gonna try. Now that we can both drive and I, I can take on quite a few hours of driving, um, today wasn't bad, was no, it? No, not at all. And we left really early, so we're well, here at 5 p.m. <laughs> for which, real people. Yeah, we've got plenty of time to set up and have dinner, so it worked out great. I think I think that's going to be a good strategy for yeah. us. It's good. Baby, if you've ever wondered, wondered whatever became of me, I'm living on the air in Cincinnati, Cincinnati WKR. We are only in Ohio for four days. We're doing Cincinnati and Columbus. That's our two experienced cities so we can get our Ohio sticker. So we're in Cincinnati today. We're gonna um, check out Finley Market because they're having a little fall food festival today and we're gonna get some lunch. Finley Market was named top 10 food market in the world by Newsweek magazine. Cool. remember last year when we were doing big cities on the East Coast I used this app called GPS my city and we're gonna use it again here in Cincinnati and this week in Columbus so I decided to go ahead and buy the yearly subscription it's only $13 and it gives you access to be able to map your walking route in the app instead of having to map everything out in Google Maps so I thought it was worth it um, not too much and it has cities all over the country so we we'll sh should be able to use it a lot this year so today we're doing the introductory walking tour of Cincinnati Red Stadium, baseball stadium, and by the Ohio River. And here's Cincinnati Bengals football stadium. the Ohio River in Cincinnati is the Roebling Suspension Bridge. This is famous because when it was built in 1866, it was the largest suspension bridge in the world. It 
And over there on the other side of the river is Kentucky. The neighborhood where we had lunch at Finley Market, just north of the Ohio River and stadiums, is called Over the Rhine, and it has a fascinating history. In the mid-1800s, this area was settled by German immigrants. A canal separated the neighborhood from the downtown where most of the immigrants worked, and in order to get to work, they would have to cross the canal. People started calling the canal the Rhine after the Rhine River in Germany. And so people who lived north of the canal lived over the Rhine. Over the Rhine has been named one of the largest, most intact urban historical districts in the United States. But by the 1990s, the area had fallen into deep poverty. In 2001, this was the site of the Cincinnati riots. And at that time, there were 500 vacant buildings in the neighborhood, and over half of those were condemned. By 2009, it was named one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in the country. Since then, the city of Cincinnati has made a tremendous effort to gentrify the neighborhood and restore the surviving buildings, and you can definitely feel that today. Like so many cities that are being gentrified, there are new restaurants and shops and nicely designed walking areas and art. Over the Rhine is still a work in progress, but we had a lovely afternoon exploring the old and the new here. We're about half hour outside of Cincinnati and we want to stop by and grab a quick geocache because we have never gotten one in Ohio. So we found one here at the Milford Historical Society. Look at this beautiful Italian Victorian mansion that's here. We're going to see if we can find a little cache on the grounds of this museum. We spied a little green cord here and I yanked on it. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> We're going to continue our time in Ohio next week, so I hope to see you then. Thanks for watching and have a great week.